Our motoring tip of the week concerns one of the first signs you're going to get that you've got a battery near the end of its lifetime. This is our crew truck, our O2 Yukon, goes on most of the chutes. We've never had a problem starting this truck early in the morning, minus 20, doesn't matter, it'll fire up right away. But we go to a chute and everybody's working in and out of the truck and they forget to defeat the dome light. Dome light stays on for a while. We go to crank the truck, click, click, won't crank. Boost it, fires right up, we drive home and it's fine for the next couple of weeks. But if we leave the interior light on for even a short period of time, battery dies again. And that's one of the early signs that you get these days with maintenance free batteries or any automotive battery for that matter. When it gets near the end of its life cycle, one of the first things it loses is its reserve capacity. Now on the top of the battery on the specs here, we see that it, this new battery we're gonna put in, you'll see a number of the specs stated right on the battery. For example, this new one we're gonna install has 710 cold cranking amps. That's what's available. Uh, at, at sub-zero temperature to get that vehicle going. So if you're in Western Canada, for example, you're gonna seek out the highest CCA cold cranking amperage rating for the battery that will physically fit in your vehicle. Now, if you're in Southern US, you don't have low temps, you don't need a battery with a super high cold cranking amperage rating. Now, the reserve capacity, it's abbreviated to RC on the top here is 140 minutes. That's what we've lost on our old battery. We no longer have the reserve capacity we had to the point where you leave the interior light on for even a short period of time and it won't crank. So if you've had this situation where you've played the radio, for example, or whatever, without the engine running, you don't have the alternator charging the battery now, you're running just off the battery, and after a short period of time, it won't crank, you're near the end of the life cycle of your battery. It's gonna start with a boost, and it's quite okay to boost it and drive it home to work whatever, finish your day off, but the writing's on the wall, time for a new battery. That's your motoring tip of the week. Hi, hi. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe, and if you watch this on Facebook, like, follow, and share us, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.